Hi everybody, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, um, I was so excited. I just had to bring this to you. Um, and what I'm going to show you today. Um, yeah, I hope it's going to, ex going to excite you as much as it excited me. Uh, so, a couple of months ago, I did a video uh, on creating your own paper beads and then I made this uh, the bead dangles with it and stuff like that okay and um, so anyway um, I have been doing paper beads for a very very long time um, it, it's one of the things that I like doing and I think I also showed some samples to you of the jewelry are made with paper beads now please excuse my container i just pulled it out from underneath here uh, so yeah it's a bit dirty but I just wanted to show you some of the paper beads that I have made in the past so I'm going to stand up a bit for this and I found paper making paper beads very relaxing and uh, also, uh, what I liked about it, to be honest, is that I was the master of my own design. So if I needed a particular color, I was able to make it. If I needed a particular size, I was able to make it. Um, you know, things like that. Or shape or anything of that sort. I was able to make it. And I was also quite chuffed with the fact that I was able to make paper beads out of cereal boxes, pizza boxes, and things like that. So I'm going to show you some of the uh, paper beads that I made. But this this uh, video is not about making the different types of paper beads, okay? Um, but it's going to highlight uh, the tool that I'm going to show you and, uh, you know, the fact that you can... You can use that to make any of these because quite a few of them I did make with that. All right, so I um, I made these. Now I can tell you, uh, just give me a second, okay? One minute. Okay, I'm back because I just thought about something now and I thought I'd take you through a little bit of that as well. Okay, so these are some paper beads that I made. Uh, this one was made with scrapbooking paper uh, I didn't like the scrapbook paper, so I made a paper bead out of it. Uh, I, I think now I think this also could have been made out of scrapbooking paper. Now those were the very first paper beads that I made, and then I made this. I made this paper bead, and this was made out of, uh, I think you know, like tea bags. Uh, no, not tea bags. The tea boxes. The tea boxes. So, you know, your, the, the boxes, your tea bags come in. So I did that because I wanted to use, um, I wanted to make a bracelet, bracelet with this. So I actually made a bracelet with these. Yeah. And all I did is that I used the tea boxes and I painted them and then I put some shimmer uh, in the glaze and I did that so I'm also going to do a series on paper beads with you showing you the different ways of creating paper beads because I showed you a pretty basic one um, you know in my tutorial and you can I'll, I'll link the tutorial later on I mean in the video description or on the iCard you know kind of a thing and then you can go and watch that video and then this one I made with napkins and then I uh, used resin on it so resin was pretty cool I must admit but yeah there was a little bit of a uh, you know like a little bubble as the resin dried but I the, you know this was almost my probably my second attempt at making paper beads so I learned from that I love the texture of it it's lovely and shiny but resin can be expensive and resin also uh, is um, what's the word I'm looking for uh, yeah, it, it, it's high maintenance. Resin is high maintenance. But then this is one I made using another technique. And that's the resin one and that's that one. And this is made out of cereal boxes. So nevertheless, you can see that 
uh, I've dabbled in a lot of paper beads and I'll probably do a series on paper beads. Now I'm no paper bead expert at all. They are wonderful ladies out there that, you know, do excellent jobs uh, on tutorials with paper beads. But yeah, I thought I'll, I'll, I'll add my spin to it because uh, I don't think it's as hard. In fact, it's very easy to do it. Uh, extremely easy okay that's a wooden bead that i actually covered with uh um i think a serviette or something like that okay so you get all those kind of paper beads but where i'm heading with this is is to show you something so let me just put this away because i don't want to pick up all those beads over there all right so what i wanted to tell you is that i live in south africa and when I watched all these paper bead, uh, uh, what's this word, videos and things like that, it was a case of, um, let's talk about the bead roller itself. Um, and um, at that time, I would see all these bead rollers and I went onto many platforms uh, to try and source the paper bead rollers, either... I couldn't get them delivered to South Africa or um, they were very expensive. So that sent me on a mission to kind of, ooh, these are dirty, hey, because they've been lying out for a long time. It sent me on a mission to try and figure out uh, how to make my own paper bead roller. And if you know anything about me, uh, I try to make everything from scratch if I can. Okay, there's certain things like can't and I will accept defeat on it. So you are seeing my paper bead box and I'll explain that to you one day when uh, that will form another part of the series. Okay. But yeah, so I went on a mission to make paper beads and first I used a, <laughs> a skewer. I like to keep it here to remind me where I started off. But this is difficult on the hand, especially if you're making a lot of it. And yeah, you know, it, it wasn't, uh, people tell you that you can use it. And um, I guess it's okay. I guess it's fine. But if you really want to make a few more and you, you know, you want to do something with paper beads, then you, sooner or later, you're going to tire of this. And then I was like, okay, let's take a, like a kind of a dowel stick, all right? And let's cut a hole, I mean, cut, slide, I mean, ugh, what's this? Um, thing it in two, d d saw it in two. So I took a little hand saw and I started sawing this in two. And yeah, it worked. It worked. Okay, so, I mean, that's another thing you can do. Right. And then, I was like, no, 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 guys. There must be a better way to make this. And then, I was like, well, what does a paper bead consist of? I mean, paper bead roller consist of? And, yes, this is my dirty box here with everything in it. But I want to show you what I did. I want to show you what I did. And I was like, okay, so there's some cereal beads here, lying cereal box beads here that I haven't painted this yet. Yeah, but hey, for another time. Okay, for another time. I did not prepare that video. In fact, I did not even prepare this video. And I was preparing to show you something. And I was like, hmm, yes, let's do this. So then what I did was I looked at the anatomy of a paper bead roller. And simply, it was, you know, two little pieces of metal or whatever. And there was a split in between them. That's all there was to it. A split. And, you know, it had to be quite tight. The split had to be quite tight. And it had to uh, be able to push a piece of paper into it like that kind of a thing and be able to roll it so I was like no I know 
I now can figure this out. Oh, I even went and bought a quilling, you know, the quilling uh, tool. Yeah, but that was limited. Okay, but the concept was there. So I started off with something like this, where I took Sharpies or Cokies apart. Okay, and I decided, right, okay, I got a barrel now. And you can see all my attempts. Uh, and I used every one of them. Okay. And there's my last attempt at it. You can see I neatened it <laughs> as I went on. <laughs> so what I did is that I pulled the cokey apart. I'm going to show you that now. And then I was like, right, I got the barrel. And then I was like, now what about the actual thing to make that? And then I was like, wait split pins i'm not sure what they called in other parts of the world but these are split pins and i got two different sizes 3.2 times 50 millimeters and 4 times 40 millimeters and i was like yes i think i can use that because if you look at how a split pin is designed uh, so that's the the longer one but the the smaller one and this is the shorter one, but the wider one, if I could say that. So I lifted it and I was like, okay, I think this could work. I think this could work. And I was like, right, so I know there's a split pin, which means that if I use it, the uh, stuff is going to go in the middle, blah, 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 with a little bit of effort, because this is a brand new one now. Okay, but you saw that I could use it. Uh, and so you will just have to, uh, a and as you use it, it gets better and better. But look, All right, so this one here is a little bit tighter, but you know, you, you, you wedge your paper in, you just open it up a bit here, just take something to open up this two parts here a little bit, and then you've got something to slide your paper in. All right, so I said, right, I've got that, and then I took the barrel and yep these are my old old uh, uh pins don't ask me okay why i keep pins that don't write because i can't answer that question but let me tell you something they've come in handy more than on more than one occasion so i probably keep it for that reason and then i looked and i was like uh you know uh yeah so i started taking these apart I started taking the cokies apart. Uh, where's one now? Yeah, well, there you go. There's one. Uh, oh, let's see. Nope. And I've got so many here. There's one here. Okay. So all I did is I took a... Because I, I do bead making, so I got all these things. Firstly, they don't work, right? So I took that and I pulled that out. And I was like, right. No waste there because it was already dry. And then I was like, now let's let's try and get this part out because I wanted the barrel. Now, you, if you watch my channel, you know that I don't have the strongest of hands. So trust me when I say that I just pulled one apart now, okay? But I don't want to go ahead and pull this one. But all you're going to do is you're going to pull this apart, right? And yeah, my hands are very, very weak right now. So please bear with me. But what I then got was this here. Right, so this is pulled apart. Now, I just pulled that apart now. And this is the barrel of the uh, the Koki marker, which is also dried out. And you can, uh, if you take some alcohol and you put it on the tip in an emergency, you can use it. But yeah. And then I was left with this, right? And then I was like, mm-hmm. That's when I made these concoctions. And what I did over here is, or these gadgets rather, is I used air dry clay. So I would stuff this barrel with air dry clay. Then I would push this in, okay? And then if it dried well, like this one, I didn't need to do anything about it. But sometimes that whole barrel would have, you know, this air dry clay, even though it would take the shape of the barrel, for some reason it wouldn't stick. Then what I would do is like, you can see now this one is a part here. 
and this one is flush in you know as i went on and i learned and here's one where i split the, <laughs> i even split the barrel okay so i would then uh, after dried so this will stick onto it and then i would remove that and i would put some hot glue in it up until there and then i'll shove that whole um air dried uh, piece back in and it works it works perfectly well look yeah so then i thought right i'm going to show you how to make this tool today and then i opened this box and like i said to you i don't throw anything away so i had all these left and i was like oh look at that that could work that could work so i said okay fine let's do that let's do that and then i took it and i was like okie dokie now what and this was just now it came to me right now because i told you i was experimenting today and i took one of these clips and i now if you look in here you can't see it and i mean it's no use even showing it to you but if you look through this hole over here there is like a little triangle that is formed at the bottom and i'm assuming there's a triangle that's formed to get the nib to sit properly okay because i think the nib at the end is a bit uh triangular in shape i think oh well whatever the reason was so i took this here and then i pushed it in to that the uh yeah um like that and then it's not going to go in and it's not going to go in and you're going to struggle and just push it in it will eventually go in this is metal this is plastic something's going to give right and it's going to be the plastic that gives and then what i did is i took um I don't, oh there's it there's it here then i took my uh what you might call it the pliers and I pulled it out and now I just put it back in right and it's gonna shake but there you go and now that is your bead roller well and does it work of course it works <laughs> of course it works let's um, try it out so there you go now this is cardboard uh i don't know maybe it's more than 128 gsm right and ugh. right i chose one that uh i need to open up here okay but this one i made right now so i need to open this up a little here there's a split pin and let's see there we go there we go, guys. Ta da, ta da, ta da. Okay. And here we go. How cool is that? Let's try if I have some a uh, cereal bar because cereal bar is a you know, test. Okay. Okay. I'm back. Let's try the cereal board. Now, because the cereal board is definitely going to tell us whether it's going to work or not. And now this is pro neutral cereal board. So you know I use that. And uh, I'm going to cut the cereal board a bit. Because it's quite a large. Push it in here. So the question is, how often do we use cereal board? There we go. There we go. Now I wouldn't use cereal board like this because you saw all my ones with cereal board uh, was uh, tapered. Okay, because it just sits better. But I had absolutely no problem rolling this mm, did you see that or was i too much to the side there we go 
All right, so there you go. If you missed that, there's a cereal bowl per YouTube. You, kn you know my son loves per YouTube. Okay, here we go. Um, stop using the words. There we go, Anthony. Oh, I see. Okay, I get it. There's some glue over here. Right, it's out now. It is out. Haha. -ha. Look at that, ladies. And then you just glue it. Now, as I mentioned to you, I wouldn't uh, necessarily use such... I, I'll tape on my cereal board. Because then it's also better when you want to glue it. Right? So, it does take a lot of effort. Cereal board does take a lot of effort. And my hands don't allow... I probably won't be a rolling cereal board in, you know in the future in vast quantities but hey look at that okay paper on my project sorry i'm i'm, I'm walking around um paper Look at the ease. Look at the ease in which you roll paper. Okay, look at that. So we've gone from cereal board to paper. So we've tried the most difficult and I would think one of the easiest things to roll. Now, look at that. Right, you glue it up. But you can see that hole over there. That's a thick one. If you put in a thin one here in it, you're going to get a thinner hole. So I'm going to use uh, the thinner one, this kind of one, because it's already made. Because I only want to demonstrate to you what the hole will look like if it's a thinner one. This was an absolute deal game changer. That's the word. Game changer for me, guys. It was a game changer now i suppose you can get different thicknesses uh of your hole uh depending on how thick your um split pin is but yes that's what i sent my husband to the shop i said go and get these things for me i need them uh he phoned oh well there's two sizes can you just get both okay so there's the smaller hole there now how cool is that? Oh my gosh, that's cool. All right. So there you go. Now, this one, I think it is well worth the, um, you know, the effort to make it. Because it works sterlingly. I mean, I've been using this for years now. Years. If you feel that this part is going in, I mean, it takes a lot of effort for you to push that part in. Um, but then you can try something where you kind of add the uh, maybe glue around the surface or whatever, or glue in, not around the surface, it won't make a difference, into this, um, not glue, uh, what's that other thing called I said? Air dry clay. Or glue or hot glue into this barrel to keep that sturdy and I'm sure it will work perfectly well I would probably give that a try if uh, you feel sorry now I'm demonstrating to you really how um, weak my hands are um, uh, what's this word I would definitely give that a try if I feel this is moving but I can't see that moving in a hurry uh, kind of a thing yeah and all you do is if it moves pull it out again put it out i mean this is pulled out already so i'm gonna have to literally push it in in order to for it to go in not through rolling it's not gonna happen through rolling and um if you need how 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 big can this be uh how big hmm, one and a half inches and yep, I suppose if you use thinner, 
like paper then you can like go two inches or whatever simply because paper will allow for you to um you know it will keep the shape as it rolls cereal board no it won't so i mean how cool yeah well i tried that that doesn't work okay unless you know you want to push that in and keep it like that which is perfectly fine because all you do when you want to work with it is you push it out you pull it out like that how cool <laughs> sorry sometimes i can't contain my own excitement but as I mentioned, this was an absolute game changer for me in the sense that, you see, this one is giving me a problem uh, to get, get it down because, yeah, my arms are so bad. Um, but there you go. How's that? And you keep it and you use it. But it does not, you can't extend. Oh, you can. No. The other one I tried, you couldn't extend the barrel. And would anybody know? It's like one of these James Bond things. Uh, you shoot, you're in a fight and you, sh you open your pen and you shoot something out of it or whatever. So yeah. <laughs> here's, your, here's your little roller that you can keep intact like this and no one's going to know that it is one. Oh man, it's Anthony. Uh, but I hope that you enjoyed that. And if you like this kind of content and give the mess on the side if you like this kind of content and you haven't as yet subscribed uh give uh you know consider subscribing to my youtube channel and also consider uh joining my um facebook group and also let me know how it goes if you tried this out um this was made this this was invented out of desperation i'm not sure there must be someone out there that must have thought about the same thing okay but especially for those people where these things are too expensive and you can't buy it. And these, these split, split pins, you find it in your local hardware store and they, they, they're very cheap, okay? I mean, how many do you get out of it? Um, I think 10, 10, okay, in a container. And you don't need to have both the sizes. Start off with one size and take it from there. And I'm sure you all got dried out cookies, right? So where was I again? Yes, um, if you kind of enjoy this kind of content and me rambling about, uh, then um, please consider giving, uh, you know, subscribing to my YouTube channel, giving this a like. Let me know how you, you, you're you going with this and if it's something that uh, you found useful. And then what I'm going to be doing is uh, in one of my videos, I'm going to show you how to mass make. Uh, I mean, no, no, not mass make. Um, uh, mass glaze I think the word would be glaze mass glaze um, your beads with uh, very cheap very cheap stuff okay so uh, um, keep tuned for that but this will go into my paper making box now yeah so um, I will do that shortly uh, I just need to set it up because I haven't done paper making in a long time. So I need to set that up to show it to you. But take care and uh, lots of love from me. And have a blessed, blessed week. Bye-bye.